Isn't it interesting that only the seers seem able to see the approaching tide of effluence flowing from parental permissiveness that is now in the process of engulfing so many? So few other voices are raised in alarm. The ears of the secular world are attuned to the messages that come from the Paul Revere's, not the prophets. And there appear to be so many Paul Revere's writing about, issuing so many Jeremiah's, that the crucial warnings are being drowned out. Isn't it interesting that at a time when we ought to know better about the limitations of what legislation can do to change human behavior, that some women prefer legal power to righteous influence. Some may choose to ignore or to rechannel a maternal instinct, brothers and sisters, but they cannot rise above it. Isn't it interesting that the secular world now directs our attention, with certain justifications to be sure, to the unmet needs of women when the most common tragedy in the modern home is the malfunctioning father? who so often leaves his post untended, and who is so often insensitive to the needs of his wife. Isn't it interesting with regard to the matter of individual fulfillment, a natural and basic human need, that some fail to observe that one of the great advantages of being fulfilled is that one does not have to spend all of his or her time thinking about being fulfilled. Those I know and admire who have deep and abiding testimonies do show some differences in their preferences and certain dimensions of their lifestyle. But on the things that really matter, they are incredibly alike. 